It's touted as one of the easiest ways to send money to people you know. Zelle is probably offered through your bank, so most people just assume it's secure. However, an Ormond Beach man says he lost thousands, and neither Zelle nor his bank did anything. That is until investigator Louis Bolden stepped in and helped him get results. That's right, I owe you for half of it. Let me hit the bank really fast. According to its commercial, just pay me with Zelle. More than 100 million people can access Zelle through their bank or credit union. Zelle says you can pay at a snap with your banking app. I use it all the time, baby. It's been treating me well. But Andrew Miller says Zelle did not treat him well. Your money's at risk. You're, you're your money's at risk right now. Miller is a property manager and the owner of Miller Real Estate in Ormond Beach. It shocked me that that I was the victim of this. At the end of January, Miller says eight of his clients sent their rent payments to him using Zelle, which they had done numerous times before. But this time, he never received the payments. According to this police report, nearly $7,000 gone. At first, it's disbelief. I, I honestly, I thought there was an error, that, that somehow that, that it was a simple mistake that they could fix in a minute. Miller banks with Wells Fargo. The eight clients are with three different banks, four from Wells Fargo, two from Chase, and two from Bank of America. If your bank offers Zelle, go to their website or mobile app and enroll your email or U.S. mobile number. Miller says his bank informed him the email address he uses for his Zelle account was now associated with a Chase account under the name Entai Corporation. So all of the payments sent using that email address went to the wrong person. But they could not tell you how that happened. No. Nope. Andrew Von Rameen Mapp is the owner of Data Analyzers in Lake Mary, which teaches companies about cybersecurity. That is somewhat of a fail sense of, of security. He says while digital payment platforms can be convenient, that convenience comes with a price. The more we try to simplify things uh, and make them easier and more convenient, convenient, the more we're also neglecting the security component. Early warning services, the network operator of Zelle either couldn't or wouldn't explain exactly what happened to Miller. But they did send New Six a statement reading, we assist our participating financial institutions in investigating and resolving reported incidents of unauthorized transaction activity facilitated through Zelle. Until they come through and tell us what really happened here, so we all know, it's not safe. It's just not. Initially, all of the banks refused to refund the customers their money because they do not assume risk for Zelle. But after we advocated for the consumers, the banks listened and returned each customer their money. Coming up at 7 o'clock, Zelle and many other person-to-person -person digital payment platforms do not offer buyer protection. So consumers need to beware. Uh, Lisa? Yes, you do. Yikes. Yeah, we use that. You just that. assume that it's safe. Right. It's easy for babysitters and lessons and yes. all and sorts And you do of it stuff. through your banking app, so you would assume You would think it's, it's covered like everything else, but apparently it's not. Read Very good stuff, print. Louis Bolden. Mm -hmm.